Hello and welcome everyone. Today's video features the quite famous USS Yorktown. Now the USS Yorktown is currently on the PTS server and in testing. The in-game description is described as the Yorktown class of ships entered service between 1937 and 1941 as the first mass-produced aircraft carriers of special construction in the US Navy. They were designed with the limitations of international naval armament agreements in mind, but despite this, the American designers skillfully crafted these 20,000 ton aircraft carriers to be both swift, spacious and well equipped. During the initial year of the war in the Pacific, ships of the Yorktown class along with the Lexington class carriers constituted the primary strike force of the US Navy aircraft carriers in the Pacific and would go on to serve notably during the Battle of the Coral Sea and Midway Island. So as I already stated, the USS Yorktown is currently in testing on the PTS server. So let's start this preview by going through the ship's complete stats, starting with the armor layout. We can see here the flight deck is 25 millimeters, fore end plating 19, side plating 19 millimeters, aft end plating all 19 millimeters, hangar plating gets 38 millimeters of protection and there is a small armor belt place here of 40 millimeters and here 102. We look at the actual citadel it is deep under the water line and quite small. The deck armor is 38 millimeters at chip 102, bulkhead 25 millimeters, and here 32. The Atwar chip at the stern is 102 millimeters. So this ties in directly to the ship's survivability. Currently 50,100 hit points and a torpedo protection reduction of 28%. Being an aircraft carrier, of course. The main stats are going to be its aircraft. Now, Yorktown comes armed with three groups, torpedo bombers, attack aircraft, and dive bombers. These torpedo bombers are the AD-1 Sky Raiders. These come with 2,296 hit points, 129 knots base speed. They can be boosted to 165 max speed engine boost time 23 engine boost reload is 34 size of attacking flight is 2 with 8 aircraft per squadron 18 on deck the aircraft preparation time is 1 every 83.9 seconds 2 torpedoes in payload 5067 max damage these have an aerial torpedo speed of 45 knots they have a torpedo range of three and a half kilometers and an arming distance on the torpedoes of 606 meters so if we look at these torpedo bombers we can see they get an engine cooling five seconds 64 second cooldown you get a patrol fighter and a repair consumable with these torpedo bombers. Second group of aircraft are these attack aircraft. Again, most notably, these are tactical squadrons, both the high explosive rockets and the high explosive dive bombers are both tactical squadrons. And what you'll immediately notice here with the consumables is you get the smoke curtain generator. You can see the stats here on screen. Again, with the engine cooling and a fighter, but this time with a smoke curtain generator. Same goes 
or these high explosive dive bombers to get the same consumables. So you get two sets of aircraft with these smoke screens. Stats on these aircraft. These are the F4U 1D Corsairs. They have 1590 hit points, a base speed of 173 knots, can be boosted to 214 max speed, engine boost 5.8 seconds, the reload time on that boost is 8.7, 5 aircraft per attacking flight, 5 aircraft per squadron with 5 aircraft on deck and the preparation time is 5 every 94.8 seconds. Now you get two rockets per payload, a max rocket damage of 5,400, 68 millimeters of penetration, and a 34% chance of setting the target on fire. So tactical squadrons, the second tactical squadron is the or are the high explosive bombers. These are the SB2C-4 Hell Divers. They get 2830 hit points. Max speed of 164 when boosted. A speed of 128 knots. Engine boost 23 seconds. The reload time on that boost is 34. You get 6 aircraft per attacking flight, 6 per squadron, and 6 on deck. And the reload or aircraft preparation time is 6 planes every 112 seconds. These Hell Divers come with 2 bombs in payload, max bomb damage of 6,200. They can pen 42 millimeters of armor and have a 37% fire chance. So these are the three groups of attack aircraft. Two tactical squadrons and normal torpedo bombers. When it comes to artillery, secondary battery of eight single mounted 127s. They have a max Firing range of 4.5 kilometers. Reload time of 6 seconds. Firing high explosive shells. 6% fire chance. 21 millimeters of penetration. And a shell speed of 792 meters per second. In terms of AA defense. Yorktown gets 50 of these single mounted 20 millimeter guns. These Urlacons. 50 of these 20 millimeter. Three twin mounted Bofors 40 millimeter. Six in total. You get six of these quad mounted Bofors, but 24 of these in total. And the secondary battery that we just looked at, they also are dual purpose, doubling up as AA mounts. All combined, they pump out a continuous average damage of 335. See the individual ranges here and the values, vast majority of which is short range damage. Yorktown can fire four shell explosions per flak salvo with a max damage of 1400. And the max firing range is 5.8 kilometers. In terms of maneuverability, Yorktown has a max speed of 34.1 kilometers. That is with the speed flag mounted. A speed is 32.5. Max 34.1. Turning circle radius of 1,070 meters and a rudder ship time of 12.4 seconds. Finally, stats wise, with this build, I am not using Concealment Expert. I'm using Flight Control, Torpedo Bombers, Torpedo Bombers Mod 1, 
aircraft engines and air groups mod one here i am using this configuration now with this build the concealment is 13 kilometers detectability range from enemy submarines and enemy aircraft 10.2 kilometers now this is the uss yorktown famously lost during the battle of midway mortally wounded by enemy aircraft attacks it was in the process of being potentially saved when it was hit by multiple torpedoes from an enemy japanese submarine and finally sunk so this is the uss yorktown that is currently in testing on the PTS server. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see some live gameplay, feel free to come over and visit me on Twitch. You can see the link here on screen. I look forward to seeing you all. I'd like to thank you once again all for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more. Take a moment to check out some of my most recent videos and leave a comment below. And until the next time, keep sailing it like you stole it.